So here's some of the things that I've I shared about margin, uh, investing with margin that I think were wrong. Uh, so, so one of the things that I said was, um, well, actually, it's like you can limit your risk if you just don't invest more. So you, let's say you decide to invest 10% in Tesla or any share. Uh, you could leverage at 2x, but still only risk 10% of your portfolio. That's true. But the problem is that let's say you're wrong and the value goes down of Tesla, that 10% exposure will drop to, let's say 1% exposure, well, you fucked up, it, the price is cut by two, uh, or it just goes way below your margin call. And so very quickly, you lose a big amount. And um, let's say the 10% exposure is cut to 1% exposure. What do you wanna do? Well, you could say, hey, I don't want to, I, I said I would not risk anything more, so I'm not going to invest more in this and I'll take it just, uh, I'll just accept the loss and, 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 but that's not how it works. As an investor, you always need to look at, at, at your portfolio allocations and if Tesla drops by half and the fundamentals stay the same, well, it's, it has become a better investment and deserves a larger exposure than before. So the right action is to invest more in it. And instead of like now investing 10% like you did before, you want to invest 20% in it of your portfolio. Huh? So that's the right move. But if you said beforehand, hey, uh, I'm going to use uh, margin, uh, but I, I really don't want to like you lose all my money. So I'm going to like not risk anything more than I put in. That's just not a realistic, uh, a realistic a thing to pledge and also not a wise thing to pledge because you do, do want to be able to buy more shares if it drops a lot in value. Huh? So you are actually always risking your total portfolio as an investor. If he, that's the case, if you use margin for certain investments or not. And so what's the danger? as an investor, that is that you continue to invest more in something that goes down and continues to go down and ends up at zero. So there's always a point where you have to stop investing in something and accept that you're wrong. And, and we, we naturally do that after you've invested a lot and you keep on being wrong, keep on losing money. You naturally will stop investing in something. But the problem is with leverage, this process goes much faster of losing money and uh, therefore you will probably lose more money uh, in an investment that you that just went the wrong way uh, and you didn't see it coming so I said that you don't really increase your risk if you limit your investment to a certain amount but that's not realistic so yes you actually do increase your risk by using leverage I do think leverage can be interesting for some people, but not from for me. S since you are actually as an investor always risking your total portfolio, um, that is a, f a lot of risk for me. I'm 40, I've been investing for 10, 20 years. Um, uh, I've built up capital to, re to, to, re to start from zero uh, is, is for me much more difficult than a youngling or a young guy that's starting out has little capital. If he loses everything, he can rebuild that capital in a couple of years. Um, uh, um, so that's a different situation. Also for the, for, to make invest, investing profitable, you really need a certain amount of capital right? because um, uh, like uh, you do a certain move with a thousand dollars you do the same move with ten thousand dollars you make ten times more um, uh, like your your time is has also value and so if you want to uh, it's just not worth it to invest with thousand dollars that's that's not worth it 
uh, for your time. Your time is too valuable. You better do something else. It doesn't matter how great an investor you are or what kind of talent you have. Um, it's just not enough capital to play with to make it your uh, worthwhile. So in that case, margin does um, make sense. Because yes, you lower the risk reward ratio of the investments by using margin, but um, <laughs> if you don't use margin, it's just not worth your time. And if you lose it all, well, you didn't lose that much because yeah, you were not playing with that much capital, even if you use margin. Uh, 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 yes, you, then you play with a lot more capital, but your own capital in it is not that much. And so if you lose it all, you can easily start over and rebuild that capital. And indeed, uh, as a young person, that might be a better approach than trying to make money from sharing your work via a YouTube channel or a new uh, investment newsletter or starting a fund. All these things that distract you from investing, uh, from allocating capital, which is a serious business, requires a lot of thinking, uh, a lot of reading, um, and uh, um, yeah, um, building a business around that uh, of sharing knowledge is something very different. Uh, if you want to become a great investor, it might be much wiser to uh, not build a business, business around sharing, but um, focus on investing and indeed use margin in a calculated manner. For me, the, the biggest problem with, 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 with margin is that, um, yeah, it really uh, fucks with my brain uh, uh, because if something goes down a lot in value and I still believe in it, I really want to buy more. And, and of course, typically, every time I invest in something, it goes, it goes, it, I, it goes down more than I expect. Huh? So often I will end up buying more as it goes down more than I expect. And that usually is a good move later on. Um, and that's how I build my positions. But um, now that I start investing in Tesla with margin, what will happen is if I'm wrong and it goes down more than I expect, 250 or 100, um, or 50 uh, then um, what will happen is that I will have I will not I, I, I will have to forcibly sell uh, shares but I don't want to sell shares there I want to buy more so um, I will have I, 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 I will be forced to um, send more capital to my broker simply to keep my shares and um, that's a really shitty situation to be in because I probably can't afford to buy more there. And I will have to, because I, I will be forced to actually just invest more just to keep my share. So um, it's a really shitty situation to be in um, that I really don't want to be in. Um, I know it's already hard enough to invest more uh, and build up more shares uh, when something goes down. Uh, and I have failed in that sometimes, like with crypto recently, when Bitcoin cash went deeper than I expected, I should have invested more, but I didn't. Um, uh, uh, but imagine that you have to, like, you're forcibly liquidated uh, and you do have to invest more just to keep your position. I really don't want to be in that situation. There are some problems with margin also that 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 that, that, um, that should be mentioned. Now that is that um, typically um, when it goes the wrong way, uh, a certain share uh, drops a lot in value. What brokers will do is they will raise margin requirements, and uh, instead of, for example, giving um, um, or requiring 30% margin, they will require 40% margin, as happened with Tesla around uh, $190 and 
The problem with that is that it raises your margin uh, uh, price call, uh, margin call price, uh, <laughs> which is of course not what you want when uh, the stock goes down. It's like you borrow money from someone and you have an agreement that um, uh, if it goes down so much, you have to pay back the loan. The, if it goes down X amount, uh, you have to pay back the loan. Okay, that's a risky situation, but um, uh, let's say chances are low that it will go down so much, you can make that agreement. But then, when it goes down, suddenly he changed his mind. After it has one, uh, gone down a lot, and he says, actually, mm, you know, uh, I want you to pay back the loan um, uh, if, if it goes down uh, only to this price already. <laughs> Uh, that's not uh, that's not great uh, and that's what they typically do what they also do uh, as interactive brokers is that they have this uh, called exposure fee um, uh, or a risk fee and so even if you don't hit uh, your uh, margin call price they will say that you know uh, this portfolio is very risky and it's very close to getting a margin call so that's gonna cost you money and they they, they charge you a daily exposure fee um, and if you do the calculation this ends up being um it starts low but it can like i've in on my account it goes up to like one percent per year on extra interest you're basically paying and so you pay about three to four percent interest on the margin loan but now it's suddenly adding one percent so instead of three four percent it becomes four five percent interest you pay per, per year and uh, meaning that your margin loan just goes up quicker again raising your uh, margin call price so if you watch at my video where I show the simulation um, uh, on why it's interesting to use leverage with Tesla and what your losses would be if it goes down, I'm saying that if you use leverage with a safe um, uh, margin, for example, you only do 20 or 30% leverage, uh, and, and that means that your margin, margin price call is, uh, margin call price is, uh, let's say for example, for Tesla at only $50. Huh? What is the chance that goes below $50? It's low. Um, and therefore, um, the chance that you will end up with more shares than not using leverage is high. Um, and therefore, it's a good idea. And I do think that reasoning is correct, but it isn't like that's only if you look at the investment in isolation um, because it is not in isolation it's part of your portfolio and um, it really complicates things for me uh, for example I mean what are the chances that you pick the bottom in something that's low huh? So, 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 so usually when you invest, it will go deeper than you expect, or it will go sideways first and do whip sauce, and it may take a while that it really goes up, and, and that's in the case that you're successful. There's also a chance you're just wrong, huh? and it ends up actually not being successful, and, and yes, go deeper than you expect, go sideways, and then, like, go even more deeper um, like the mistake I've been making I think also when talking about Tesla is that I assume that it's going to do a 10x and I think from the scenario that it's going to do a 10x and so the, the main goal is to have as many shares as possible but it's not that's not the case you cannot assume that it's going to 10x you can hope that it's going to 10x huh? if you're successful it's going to 10x uh, uh, but you really don't know for sure that's going to happen uh, and um, yeah you have to try for that to happen and lower the risks as much as possible 
to be able for that to happen. And, and, and so the problem is when you do lose use leverage is that, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, if you look at it simplistically, the chance that, that, that you have more shares um, than not using leverage when it is higher because it's a low probability that it will go so low. But probably it's going to go lower than you expect. And what would I do usually as an investor is that I would just shift some. If it's like really goes lower, I would just invest some more and buy some more shares with other investments that I sell. But what would I do here if I start using margin? I would not sell the other investment and just use some more margin to buy the share, thereby increasing my margin uh, call price and therefore increasing the risk. Because now first I said, no, no, I'm not going to go below $50. Uh, uh, like I want the margin call price at $50, but now the price has gone down more. Let's say Tesla drops from 200 to 150 and uh, I want to buy more, but I'm not going to sell other investments. I just use the margin. And so up, I, I raise my margin uh, price call to from $50 to 70, 80 or $100. And so, yeah, I'm increasing my risk. Because if it continues to go down, I will make a lot more losses. Um, losses that I would also make if I would have used, sold other investments and have bought with my own equity, with my own capital. But when I do it with my own capital, nobody will say it sooner or later, hey, uh, you need to pay up or I'm going to sell your uh, stock. Huh? So... Um, I would likely like it, it complicates things. It makes it more difficult, and 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 that's a problem uh, because investing is already very difficult. Just shifting investments uh, and buying something more that has gone down is already difficult enough, and then uh, to complicate it with margin uh, is not a good idea. It will cost you in your long-term returns because it just makes it more complex. But, when using margin, an opportunity, hey, when something collapses more than you expect, uh, um, it's already hard mentally, but if you think about it, it's an opportunity to invest more. But you need to think hard about that sometimes because it's very hard when you lost money uh, to see it as an opportunity. Uh, uh, but when you use margin, it actually, when you, you, you lost a lot more money. Huh? And actually, you're getting close to being margin called, which is not an opportunity. It's like a real problem. Um, and so prices going down, instead of being an opportunity, they become a problem. And, and that's not a good uh, place to be.